There, now I won't crash into you guys. Yesterday we did discuss that I bought something, I went to the bank yesterday, but that wasn't the most fun thing. The most fun thing was this. Still don't know what that balloon sound noise is. I'm guessing something's leaking. I'm not a diesel mechanic, so I don't know that, but, but I do know it, it sounds funky. I think it's in my, along with the warehouse's best interest if we do some construction to the warehouse. I think we should start with this cable. Now the world has laws. It has like, you know, traffic laws and then it has uh, physics, like the laws of physics. Junk and construction has its own law. And, and the law is in order to make something better and cleaner, you have to first destroy and make everything a mess. This, this is the mess part. So right now we have this workspace, we have the uh, tools, we have more tools, we got more tools, but we need a nice... Now I'm not a carpenter, but I do think that this job would be a lot easier with four hands instead of two. I'm going to try to do it with two hands. And to add to the complexity, I'm also using brand used wood. Don, why are you using used wood for a workbench? Well, well, the reason is quite simple. There are two, two explanations, and that is one, we, we need to save money for this new thing that I'm purchasing, that I've already purchased. It, it will need some modifications because you like modifications. Second, we can spruce it up. The, as long as the foundation is strong, sure it could be the ugliest thing in the world, but we can spruce it up and maybe in a couple months maybe you guys will want to do the same thing because it's going to look so cool. Later. Here's my frame so far. And then on top of that I'm going to put shelves inside this workbench so that I can pick up some of the stuff laying around the warehouse and just have it nice and organized. This is looking good. I just got the uh, top to the table all done. I have the legs all done. So yes, they're looking nice. Now you're probably wondering, Dalton, how are you getting the shots that you're getting? Like you, you don't have a very wide angle lens. That's because the gator is gone. So I can, I can put you guys right there. So Jake met me up here at the warehouse. Then we moved the gator. I wasn't prepared. Jake actually beat me to here. So we had to go back to my house, get the trailer. Here, stand at it. There you go. Came back here and it was so fun loading that thing. It, it really sucked moving that thing. doesn't run because we, Jake, Seth, and I seized that thing up. I mean, I was driving, but Jake and Seth were with me, so that's a, that's a party thing. Uh-oh. It's not good. Back to the drawing board. No, no, no. The reason why we had to say goodbye to the Gator is to make more room, be more organized for the new machine, the new toy. So there's a hint. I, I have got word from them. Jake was excited to hear the, the news today as well. And the news includes that they are moving forward on the transaction. I mean, not as quick as I'd want them to because I, I want to ride this thing. I want to start modifying this thing. So they're doing title stuff and prep work. Unloading the Gator kind of stunk too. I mean, not just because I, I hate to see it go, I actually don't hate to see it go because it, it blew up on me. I smell some more clickbait coming on. No, this is 100% legit. <laughs> Maybe there probably was a better idea. <laughs> that was my plan, but we can, we can shovel it out. <laughs> Looking forward to 
forward to starting with something that isn't seized and not a complete hunk of crap. But unfortunately I didn't have any room on my trailer for the back end of the gator so Seth and Jake, maybe just Jake, will come up and we'll... Baby. I didn't get a lot done, the, the guys are already here. Oh, you're, you're the bastard with the chain. I forgot I had it. Run back to you. Originally, we didn't have enough room for both the box and the gator. We just had room for the gator, so we had to make a second trip. Jake actually stopped up here with Seth. Seth had my chain. Not sure if it looks like progress yet or if it still looks like destruction. Chambers. Vice is installed and it's right on the edge which is nice so I can do this and you know have something fall over the edge or I can have up here and kind of lay it on for support, so it works excellent. And I would I would like to continue to, to modify this workbench and clean up and organize and things of that nature, but I need to get you guys up, get this vlog up. So, I'm sorry we had to stop it there, but if I didn't stop it here, there would be no vlog. Stay froggy fresh, make a mess, and be a machine.